Welcome to part 87 of Maryland's Pokemon Diamond Adventure. Today, I'm going to show you how to get yourself an Eevee in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and then show you how to get each and every one of its evolutions. Yep, that's right. All seven of them. That includes the two new ones. Now, unlike my previous 2,500 videos, I'm going to be actually narrating this one with my own voice, so please bear with me. In Hardhome City, the house right next to the Pokemon Center is where you can get an Eevee. You can only get it after getting the National Dex, though. But to get it, just talk to this girl here and answer yes to her question, and she'll give you an Eevee. You have to have space in your party, though, but you'll get a free Eevee, though, so it's worth it. Eevee starts off at level 5, and if you're lucky, it will be female like mine, so you can breed it like crazy, because we all want Eevees. To evolve Eevee into Vaporeon, all you need is a Water Stone, which can be found on Route 213 or Underground. And then, using it on your Eevee will evolve it into... Vaporeon! Next up, we have Flareon, which takes a Firestone. You can find one of these in the Fuego Ironworks. Or you can find it in the Underground. There we go. All right, my favorite. Aw, gotta love that fluffy little ball of fire. And last in the original trilogy is Jolteon, which requires a Thunderstone. One of these can be found in Sunny Shore City, or also in the Underground. Where did I put that thing? There it is. Okay. I gotta say, it is a pretty cool animation. Even though Jolteon really isn't my favorite of the evolutions, it's all right. Oh yeah. Those are the evolutions from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. When Gold and Silver came out, two more evolutions are introduced. These two are Espeon and Umbreon. Now, they're based on day and night, instead of the other ones, which are based on stones. Okay, now we move on to the Johto evolutions. To get Espeon, your Eevee has to be very happy with you, and it has to level up in the daytime. Walking around with it and using it in battles work, although the quickest way is to load it up with vitamins, like HP up, and use the Soothe Bell on it. Now, I actually used about, eh, 50 vitamins on this thing prior to this. I just didn't want to bore you with it. And keep in mind, this is in the daytime. You can also use rare candies, or just fight in the wild to level it up. However you do it, it doesn't matter. Woohoo! Oh yeah, you can fight against trainers for pretty much anything that will level you up too. I didn't mean to confuse you, sorry. You can only evolve your Eevee into Umbreon at night, but you evolve it in the same way you do Espeon, by making it really happy. And for some reason, loading it up on vitamins seems to make it really happy. It's not really cost efficient or even battle efficient to do that, but it sure is quick. 
Now, let's use a rare candy on it, just because I want to do it quick. And watch it evolve. Man, I really do like Umbreon. It just looks cool and has those glowing red eyes, has those bright yellow spots on it. Well, rings, really. It's a cool Pokemon. Okay, so now you've seen the evolutions that you should already be familiar with, assuming you're at least somewhat of a Pokemon fan. If you don't know about them, really, I don't know why you're watching this video. So now I'm going to show you how to get the two new evolutions that Pokemon Diamond and Pearl brought us. And these evolutions would be Leafeon and Glaceon. Now, you get them a little differently from the rest, so I'll walk you through it. Evolving your Eevee into Leafeon requires you to go to a specific spot in the Eterna Forest, and then leveling your Eevee up there. From the southern entrance, you can find it by heading northwest right by this funny-looking rock thing. A lot of people call it the Moss Rock. I'm just gonna put my Eevee up front here. No real reason, I'm just gonna rare candy it. Of course, you can fight in the wild to evolve your Eevee that way, too. Anything that gives it experience here. Just as long as you level it up right by this spot. This little patch of grass here. Where did I put that rare ca- Ah, uh, there it is. I was looking in the wrong pouch! Okay, evolve this little guy. Well, technically it's female, but... And we get to see one of the new evolutions, Leafeon! I don't like what they did with the name, personally. Way too similar to its Japanese name. Oh, there it is. Yeah, not too bad. And last but not least, we have Glaceon, the new Ice-type evolution of Eevee. This one's a pain to get, though, because you have to go all the way to that darn snowy area. More specifically, Route 217. The quickest way to get there is to go to Snowpoint City, and then walk from there. It's a bit of a walk, though. Well, not really like the walk to Leafeon was much shorter. I just cut it, because it's pretty easy to find that forest. Why do they make snow like that? Why do they stop me from running? Really? Why can I not run here? Why do I have to move as slow as a snail in this area? It makes me never want to go back or see it again. What is this? Okay, I'm almost there. And my repel just wore off. So of course I'm gonna fight a Pokemon. Let's skip that. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to do this again here. So right here is that rock thing. Similar to the moss rock, or whatever you call it. I'm just gonna rare candy this thing, because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to fight with it. So you can rare candy, you can fight, whatever. Just level it up here, by this area, and it'll start evolving. Again, I don't like what they did with the name. Glaceon, Glacia. Do you see any resemblance there? At least with the other evolutions, they got creative with the name. Oh well, it still looks pretty nice. 